Dear friend, when I was sitting down in that waiting room, you came along and sat with me. I did not know what to expect. It was my first time there. I came down to meet my parents, but none of them turned up on time. I prepared myself to wait patiently. It was in those first few minutes of waiting that you showed up. Funny, witty, full of jokes and entertaining comments. I was first in gratitude and then in love. And what was my definition of in love at that moment in time when I had just been separated from my partner? My definition was to be in a state of pure love that was expanding in size, proportion and level. Suddenly my heart was expanding, overpowered with this filling up the cup so high that it overspilled. That overflow of love was triggered by your acquaintance. I did not think about it initially as it happened so naturally. I embarked on a journey of fun and banter. For a few moments, I forgot why I was there. The waiting time feeling was gone from my awareness and suddenly all I cared for was the now. I had so much fun and I think you did too. We did not expect anything from each other. We entertained a moment in time when we connected and sparks flew out of our energies, revealing who we truly were. As the event progressed, we found out that we were heading in the same direction, to the same kingdom. As we parted, it was so easy to just say, see you there, in divine timing. And just like that, a friendship happened. A moment in time when someone comes in, in divine timing, to love and support you when you most need it. And then they vanish into thin air with the probability of seeing you again, in divine timing. And so you left. I was happy to just meet my parents, for that moment was ascribed to that. I so looked forward to meeting my dad. He was a warrior on a special mission and I knew we had a lot in common. That is all I focused on at that precise moment in time. But later on, many lifetimes after, I was to discover in my traveling journeys that our friendship was not as transparent and as pure as I thought it to be. I discovered traits of manipulation, deception and control in your mannerism, embedded in your natural charm, charisma and demure. And I fell for it every time. By this time, we were emotionally corrupted by people, nature, circumstances. And so we carried on living our many lives on a repeated loop of emotional roller coaster madness. Somehow, we both got addicted to the thrill of these kind of relationships. The ones that constantly give you a high and a low on adrenaline only to crash land at the end of the ride. But at the end, what do we do? That is the question. But that is a story for another day. In the meantime, expansion of love.